Hi, I'm WABE contributor Mike Jordan. And I'm Sammy Purcell with Rough Draft Atlanta. And this is How Do You Atlanta? Let's take a look at what we've got going on in the city this week. Sammy, what do you have? Well, seafood lovers, your time has come because the Atlanta Oyster Festival is February 4th. So this is a 21 and up event, so maybe get a babysitter, leave the kids at home. General admission costs $50 in advance, but $60 on the day of the event, of the event. but that gets you an incredible selection of oysters. I love oysters, so I'm very excited about this. Uh, you also get wine, mimosas, beer, just a smorgasbord of great food and drink to try. Um, so this will take place at Atlantic Station. Get your tartar sauce ready, get your cracker, get ready to go. It's going to be great. So again, that's the Atlanta Oyster Festival at Atlantic Station on February 4th. All right, what have you got for us this week? So I got a big one for us, students and alumni of historically black colleges and universities, the 21st annual HBCU All-Star Battle of the Bands. Now, this is a big deal. It's six of the best black college bands anywhere, and that includes Alabama State, Bethune-Cookman, Tennessee State, North Carolina A&T. They will battle on the field with amazing music, a lot of high-stepping marching formations, and of course, dance maneuvers, which is a big, big part of it. This year, there's also going to be two performances from Atlanta High School marching bands. So Pebblebrook will be out there, as well as Westlake, which is not far from me. And this happens 3 p.m. on February 4th at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Tickets are at allstarbattleofthebands.com. What do you have next this week? Well, I'm super excited for the Mead Road Mardi Gras Parade on February 4th. So we're bringing New Orleans to Decatur with this one. It's a very cool event. Um, so speaking of music in high school, it helps raise money to support music and arts education in Decatur City Schools. I was a big arts kid when I was in high school, so that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, the fun starts at 1 p.m. at Forfis Academy. It's going to be really, really exciting. Again, that's the Mead Road Mardi Gras Parade on February 4th. All right, what else you got for us, Mike? So this year is the 23rd annual Atlanta Jewish Film Festival. So I've been to this. It is amazing. And it's always an amazing array of movies and shorts, specifically from Jewish filmmakers, producers, uh, writers, and the acting talent from all around the city and far beyond here, as far as Israel. So the screenings are going to be all over the city. They'll be at Woodruff Arts Center. They'll be at the Landmark Midtown Art Cinema, the Plaza Theater, which we all know and love. And there's going to be two late night screenings at Plaza. So you're going to want to get there. And this year, this is really cool. They're going to have reserved seating. Uh, opening night is Wednesday, February 8th. And it's going to be at the Sandy Springs Performing Arts Center. And it'll kick off with a movie called Karaoke. So it's this offbeat Israeli dramedy. It's going to be in Hebrew with subtitles. So that's always good. And you're going to get this older, unfulfilled couple that's apparently needing a much needed spark. And there's a bachelor upstairs who may have <laughs> like inspired the spark. I'm interested to see how that turns out. But uh, that's going to run from February 8th to the 21st and it's going to be all around Atlanta again. The tickets are at ajff.org. What's your next event, Sammy? Speaking of high school, as we have this entire time, <laughs> it's time to go back to high school with a little William Shakespeare. Romeo and Juliet starts at the Shakespeare Tavern on February 4th, just in, times for, just in time for Valentine's Day. And it'll run until March 4th, so you've got some time to get over and see it. Well, this is definitely one we've all seen, right? Like whether it's the Leonardo DiCaprio version or West Side Story or the 1968 version, like we've all seen some version of this story. But maybe you haven't seen an actual play version of it and this is the perfect time to do it um, the Shakespeare Tavern is awesome they put on really amazing shows and you can check out ticket information on their website at shakespeartavern.com so again that's the classic Romeo and Juliet at Shakespeare Tavern starting February 4th all right what else have you got for us Mike okay got one for the Lego heads Atlanta Brick Con so everyone loves Legos Get yourself and your youngsters to Duluth, and you'll see these amazing Lego creations. There'll be very large displays of Legos. There'll be fan creations that are really, really intricate and dope. And there'll be a build zone with thousands of Lego pieces. Wear shoes. Any parents out there, you know, wear shoes. But there'll be thousands of Legos in the build zone, so you can do whatever your bricky little heart desires. There'll also be these race ramps for Lego cars. There'll be model trains, Star Wars, Star Wars sets, also games, contests, speakers, lots of Lego building fun. February 4th and 5th is going to be at the Gas South Convention Center in Duluth, and the tickets are at AtlantaBrickCon.com. 
www.thepodcastmedia.com. Well, that's all we got for you this week. For more information on these and other events, check out howdoyouatlanta.com. W-A-B-E.